Hello, welcome to this week's video. Where do I even begin? <laughs> this video barely made it because yours truly decided to get all caught up in this DIY build your own set type video. And it was way more than I bargained for. I think there's probably more that I'm going to do and tweak along the way but I wanted to show you the inner workings, the inner sanctum of what it takes to put something like this together. And I'm even going to share with you uh, my equipment and my purchases. I will list everything in the description portion of this video. If you are somebody who's looking for some camera gear, lighting gear, set ideas, things like that. For the most part, 90%, I really did it on the cheap, which makes me awfully excited. Um, there was one thing I had to spend some, some big money on, and you'll understand once I get to that part of the video. But I just want to sort of walk you through how things started. Um, the wall behind me was previously an eggplant color. And I did that because I wanted to do something different and warmer, but then I realized it wasn't such a good choice because my hair color is very warm. And so when it went eggplant, my hair sort of started to blend in with the wall and there was no real separation between the hair and the background. So that was a big mistake. Rule number one, keep the background light and keep it neutral. So I drove myself over to my local Sherwin-Williams and went through some swatches, finally settled on A, I had to get a primer to lighten up that uh, eggplant color. And then I had to decide on what I was going to do behind me. So I initially primed, I had to wait for that to dry, and then I got a color, um, West Highland White, something like that. And it was, it looked great. Oh, you know, things always look great on a swatch until you get it home and then you put it up there and you realize it's not exactly what you were looking for. So the white that I had initially chosen was a little too much of a creamy white and wasn't going to give me enough separation with um, some of the photos and things that I have going on on the wall. So I needed to go back. And so after painting this entire wall, this creamy white, I drive myself back over and on top of it ran out of paint. I only had a, a quart instead of a gallon. So that was a total mess. Go back to um, Sherwin-Williams, choose on a different color. And then uh, it's more of like a light grayish white, which, which will give me a nice, and I feel gives me a good separation with what's going on over there. Again, paint colors will be listed in the description. So I buy a gallon of the right color paint and I, go to town and you know, everything's taped off. I roll, I brush, I do everything. Finally, the next day, peel off the tape and everything's looking good. And I'm happy with the color that I've chosen. So now it's time to sort of put together the things that I had ordered on Amazon. One of which is you'll see this kind of marbly gray white desk with a little bit of a gold trim on the bottom. And I just felt this L-shaped desk, which I got on Amazon for like next to nothing. And it was assembled by a couple of guys from Amazon service because I did not want to have an Ikea moment where you're sitting there and you've got like nut screws and bolts laid out everywhere. And suddenly five hours later, you have a desk. So I paid to have that put together. Glad I did. And I think it serves as a really nice, clean, elegant backdrop. I love the little gold touch for the other things that I wanted to put in. And everything behind me has significance and meaning. So starting with your left, I've got the bodice and the mannequin of what I use when I sell clothing on Poshmark. And I've done a video on that before. So considering that wardrobe and fashion is a part of what I bring to you on YouTube, I thought it'd be neat to kind of throw that in sort of artsy fartsy. And then I've got just some of those little string lights that I draped around her so she's not totally totally naked. <laughs> She's bedazzled. Um, the art that I found also on Amazon 
just brought in some colors that speak to me. The green I love because it represents kind of my green thumb, being outdoors, gardening, and nature and all of that. So I loved that touch of green. The yellow ties in with the gold. Yellow is one of my favorite colors. So there you go. That made sense. Again, next to nothing on Amazon. Also on Amazon is this really cool makeup uh, little case that spins and it has all of these neat compartments so I filled it with products that I use and that I featured here on the channel before and on the bottom is a really really pretty perfume with the spray atomizer that was purchased in Florence and that has significance to me and I just love the beauty of the atomizer and the pump. Um, so over my left shoulder to your right are a couple of prints again that I found on Amazon that I think really reflect um, sort of the mood and the vibe of what I like to bring here. It's kind of modern and contemporary, but I love the outline and the design of the women. The top one is a woman's face kind of at a three quarter profile. And the bottom, of course, she's holding on to her hat. And I just thought that that was a really neat, um, classy, elegant and simple way to add some art reflective of the artistry that I bring you here on YouTube. So moving farther to your right, this is going to be a really funny story. So I struggled with hanging up my YouTube plaque that I had gotten once I surpassed a million subscribers. It had been sitting in my closet on the floor. My son was horrified when he saw that. Mom, what is your YouTube plaque doing in your closet floor? And I was like, I, I don't know. I don't I haven't found a place for it. I'm not I'm not sure. And so when I was putting all of this together and creating a new set, Nick said to me, Well, honey, you need to hang that on the wall behind you. And I really grappled with that because I felt somewhat uncomfortable. I'm not a, a braggadocious kind of person, you know, look at me, look at look at that, look at that. But but as I thought about it, and I really prayed about it, it made me realize that that plaque represents you. And it's your gift to me for being here and being a part of this community and subscribing to the channel and being with me through all these years. That plaque represents years of work and years of a relationship and connectivity. And then suddenly it didn't have that connotation that I felt that it had. And I felt much better about putting it behind me. And of course, I had to add some greenery and flowers. You know how much I love flowers and orchids are among my favorites along with hydrangeas and peonies. And so I figured a nice, you know, clean classic orchid display would be beautiful. And it partially covers the, the YouTube plaque. <laughs> so I feel like I'm sort of splitting my differences here and all of that. I know I'm silly. It's, it, it is what it is, but but that's the rationale behind it. So the biggest purchase that I made in all of this was this sucker. So I have a Canon Rebel T6i camera and I, I'm really wanting to upgrade to the Canon 80D, which will probably be my next purchase. But the first thing that I needed to do was to upgrade my lens. The lens that I had was the traditional lens that came on the camera, all good and fine, but really Every photographer will tell you, if you're going to do it right, you got to invest in the lens. And so this one, this is the 24 to 70 millimeter, and it is fantastic for this kind of videography and photography um, for portraits and just bringing your subject to light. And anyway, and speaking of light, um, I've got a ring light in front of me. I've got a couple of fill lights. I've got a light up top to just sort of cast some light on the hair so you get dimension and it's not flat. I have two more LEDs that are to my right and left that are sort of flashing back, illuminating the set. And just to show you, if I don't have set lights on, let me just turn that off and turn that off, then you'll see how important it is to be able to light your background. So let's get things back to where they were. And again, it just goes to show the immense power of lighting and proper lighting. Like I said, I'm going to be tweaking because 
I, I got to get this video out there. And so it's pro it's not perfect. And I know that I can make improvements on things, but I just wanted to get it up to a certain level and a certain standard so that I can show you all that I've been up to. Also, another little trick is I bought a reflector. I have a reflector and I have it sitting here on my desk and it's really nice because this casts some great light reflection up on my chest and under my chin and it really illuminates that as much as the rest of the face does. So let me remove the reflector. I don't know if you can see a little bit of, see how it got just a little bit darker in here. Put the reflector back. Ta-da! That just lightened up and now the color on my neck matches the color on my face. So, you know, it's amazing the, the little things and the different things that you can put together that really effectively create a great looking set and illuminate you. And of course, most importantly, is if you're going to do it, do things that have meaning and speak to you. And sometimes you'll have to play around with, you know, hanging things and balance and, and all of that. And like I said, I'm, you know, I'm still kind of assessing and, and playing with this. Uh, the beauty is I also have uh, a couple of backdrops. I've got a very large white and black backdrop. So when I come in, and do a makeup tutorial, I can have a complete solid background, all white or all black, and that way the focal point will just be what I'm doing on my face that counteracts any kind of a distraction. The other beauty is, is that I still have my bathroom to use, which I absolutely love. It's one of my favorite locations, and I know it is yours as well. And I use my closet whenever I do fashion videos, so I have that too. So I feel like this is just a nice addition to the different areas in my house where I get to work. It's so nice to be able to work from home and create all of these different opportunities to broadcast to you in a multitude of ways to show different ideas, different projects, and really create the right setting to bring those to life. So I hope you have enjoyed <laughs> this tutorial. Um, this was, wow, this, this was something. It's Wednesday at lunchtime, and so I'm literally taping this now, and I will be sitting behind my computer and editing, and we'll have this up for you by Thursday with uh, descriptions and links to products if you are so interested. In the description portion below, if you are watching on your computer right now, it'll say show more. If you're watching on your cell phone or tablet, there's a little down arrow to your right. Just hit that and the description will expand. You'll see everything that you need. And if you have any questions, comments, whatnot uh, for future videos, lay that down in the comment section. Please give me a thumbs up if you thought this was interesting and helpful for you. And I really look forward to seeing you next Thursday at one o'clock. It's our time, our place, and space. Until then, be bold and be blessed.